Before creating products, make sure to add their HSN code on Find Platform. Go to the Products section. Click Import. And select the product option on the left-hand side. Choose the type of product. You may read our documentation to know more about these. For your better understanding, here are some examples to give you an idea about standard, set, composite, and digital product types. In this example, we will create standard products. Also, select the department the products belong to. And choose a template from the drop-down. Next, click here and download the sample Excel file. Open the sample file and start entering the details of the product. First, we will add a women's shirt. Give a name to the product which will be shown to your customers. Add an item code that will be unique to the product. Choose the brand from the drop-down. Select the category to which your product belongs. Add a description which will assist your customers. Add a short description that is less than 50 characters. Choose the HSN code of the product. Choose the country where the product was manufactured. Here, you can add media files, such as images and videos. If you have hosted the images of your product somewhere, copy and add the image link. You can also add images from your Dropbox account. Please note the link that you get on Dropbox as DL equal to zero at the end. But in the Excel sheet, you'll have to change it to DL equal to 1. As you can see, we have changed it to DL equal to 1. If your product is not available in more than one size, select No. Add the Jeton type and its value. You can add multiple Jeton types. The important thing to note is, each product will have a unique seller identifier. It should be one of the Jeton values you entered. Add the size name. The actual price of the product. The price at which you intend to sell. Add the type of currency. Each header contains a hover text to assist you. Note that you have to enter the length, width, and height of the packaging material, and not of the product. Next, enter the weight of the product. You may attach a size guide if you've already created it. Select yes, if you want the product to be available for sale. The headers that are white in color are optional, but we insist you to fill them as much as possible. Enter the trader type, name, and address. In the trader details, enter the information about either the importer, manufacturer, or the packer of the product. Select yes, if you want us to track and reduce the inventory count, whenever an order is placed. Enter the time limit within which a customer can return the product. This can either be hours or days. However, if you wish to make the product non-returnable, enter zero over here. Enter the name and address of the marketer who is selling the product. It can be the same or different than the trader details. Since this is a women's shirt, let's select women. Choose the primary color of the product. If your product color is not present in the drop-down, choose the nearest resembling color. Then add your new color under the header named color. Choose the primary material of the product. If the material is not present in the drop-down, choose the nearest resembling material. Then add your new material under the header named material. Enter the number of items present in one package. Finally, choose whether the product is an essential commodity. Similar to the product added in the first row, let's enter all the details for the second product. 
Add the item code. Brand. Category. Description. Short description less than 50 characters. HSN code of men's shirt. Country of origin. Add the link of the product image. Fill all the other details. Jeton type. Jeton value. Seller identifier. Size. Actual price. Selling price. Currency. Dimensions of the packaging material. Product weight. Size guide. Product availability. The trader type, name, and address. Inventory tracking. Return configuration. The marketer name and their address. Choose men in the gender drop-down. Add the color of the product. Choose its material. Add the net quantity. Finally, choose whether the product is an essential commodity. Similarly, you can add more products in different rows. Save the file once you're done adding all the details. Go to Find Platform, and upload your file on the same page from where you downloaded it earlier. You may check the file data. Click the Upload button. A batch job will start uploading the file data to find platform. Once done, the status of the batch changes from pending to completed. As you can see, both products are created successfully. At the moment, you're yet to add the inventory of all the products. To know more, please check out our inventory creation tutorial. Once you add the inventory, you can go to your website. Click the eye icon. You may visit the brand listing page to see your products. Here's the women's shirt. And here's the size name. Here are the customized color and material that you added. Let's go back and check the men's shirt. Here you go. This is how you create products in bulk.